So it's been a little while since I've done a tech video um, on this channel. I know the, appreciate the last one was DIY, but that's just what I've been doing for the last sort of, seven, eight months or so um, since moving into a new house. So, um, but I want to jump back on, and there's quite a lot of interesting stuff going on. Um, two particular topics, uh, I guess React and Next.js, and you know with Tailwind and um, and just building like SaaS. That's something of interest outside of work, like side projects. And I've got a few views on everything kind of going on at the moment with all the boilerplates and the templates and starter kits, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but also AI as well. Um, and I'm really looking at um, different applications and different uses of AI, if it even sort of in the development workflow. Um, There's tooling that we can use as developers um, or even just building apps as well. And that's something that I want to get into, just even learn a bit more and also kind of... I guess show what I'm learning as well um, as I've been doing with the other videos sort of around free code camp. So there's probably going to be less of that now. Um, you know, I'm, I guess, a, a seasoned developer. I've got three years professional experience and I guess four overall since I was learning to code um, a little over when I started in the summer of 2020. And yeah, really, there's, there's a lot going on there and it's really exciting. So hopefully you can continue on and uh, join me on the journey. But for this video today, I want to talk about Shipfast, which yeah, I'm not sure if you've seen, you might have. Let me know in the comments below when, kind of what you think. But basically, this is a product from an indie maker, so to speak, um, you know, launched on Product Hunt and, and that kind of thing from Mark Liu. And, you know, the title is here, Ship Your Startup in Days, Not Weeks. And it's a, basically just a next JS boilerplate. So think of it like a starter kit or whatever, but you just get access to a code repository on GitHub. Um, but you have to pay for this, right? This is firewalled, um, or so it seems anyway, with some of the stuff going on, which I'm not gonna mention too much at the moment, but yeah, the date of this is Monday, 21st of October, 2024. If you just have a look on Twitter um, or X, you'll see there's quite a lot of stuff going on with Shipfast and maybe some controversies around its, I guess, vulnerability, security. Um, and that's perhaps why I'd also not necessarily recommend going down this route and paying for this particular product. Um, Obviously, I have no affiliation with this either way. I have um, I've not paid for this um, or sort of interacted with Mark in, in really any way other than watching perhaps a couple of his videos uh, when he was building this. And then, yeah, I've just seen it on the X, really. But you can see here, it kind of just packages a, a few simple things that you'd expect, I guess, in a, in a modern app. If you're writing Next.js and React, you're probably using Tailwind these days. Um, if you're a solo developer, um, you know, next auth is, is quite simple. There's MongoDB or Superbase, um, which like, I guess Superbase is the Firebase, you know, open source kind of version. And yeah, it's really nice. I've worked with, with both of these actually. <clears throat> You've got Stripe and Lemon Squeezy as well, which I think also work with, with Stripe now um, for like payments <clears throat> and checkout. Um, and then Ahoy it here, Mailgun for DNS records. Um, apparently, I guess that's sending emails. You know, you can use a bunch of different things like resend as well. But yeah, I guess this is opinionated in the sense that you're getting these products. Um, and as you can see here, maybe it does take a bit of time to set up individually if you're building a lot of different apps. But I don't know generally too many people who are building tons and tons of apps. And that's what I'll get to as well as I go through a few of the other examples. Um, but you can see here. He says it saves you know, X amount of time setting up a database, for SEO, styling, um, emails and payments and that kind of thing. But I guess the main thing normally is like auth and with Superbase and also next auth made it super simple to use. Um, you don't have to set up your, your kind of your own authentication. I know that's a, a big topic on YouTube about just roll your own auth, you know, um, no need to pay for this kind of thing. But I guess with Superbase and some others, like the free tiers are very generous and to be honest, if you're kind of building a, a personal project, you don't need like, yeah, millions of users or you're probably not going to get there, right? I think even Mark's um, own application here, I don't know how many users he says he has. Um, yeah, almost uh, 4,500. Um, so, you know, even for a site like this where he's supposedly making like 50K, 60K a month um, just selling this particular product, there's not actually like that many thousands of users or hundreds of thousands. It, it's quite small. I, obviously, I don't know if this is legit. Um, I do know that, again, this is another thing about these kind of fake coupons on a lot of indie hacker sites that people just aren't much a fan of. And yeah, there's, pro you know, I guess this just resets again when it gets to 40 and says, you know, 10 left or whatever. But 
Anyway, let's scroll down. So we can have a look. It's quite cool. There's the time here um, just on the page. And also I'm going to press A in a second and we'll see some apps that are made with Shipfast and what some people are using it for. But I guess, yeah, what I mentioned is that I don't know too many people who do ship like a madman, as Mark says, um, 16 startups in two years. It's kind of crazy, um, especially for a lot of people, if they're actually working already as dev, dev uh, they don't have much time to be spending on evenings and weekends kind of going from project to project. I can see how people do that when they're learning to code and you have a lot of, you know, dead projects um, or kind of half-baked ones, but not like actual products. So, and I think a lot of these aren't actual startups. They're more like, you know, a day or two of coding and then kind of move on. But anyway, there is also a demo here if you want to have a look. Um, and you can see here, this is the price. So it's 169 US dollars. Um, obviously it's on discount or something. Um, and then all in as well, which I guess just includes some lifetime updates. You get some prompts for terms and privacy um, and Discord community and the leaderboard you can join as well. One-time payment, um, which I guess is better than a subscription, but I don't see how you could charge a subscription for code. Um, and yeah, so that, that's kind of it. I do just want to see actually here what it says about TypeScript or, okay, so you could choose both. That's good. Um, but let's go to press A and let's see what sites have been built with it. So you can see here, there's a lot of AI tools, right? There's tradable, um, trading algorithms, sketch, um, logo AI, lots of AI tools, a bit of social media stuff for Twitter. And I guess you're kind of probably what Mark's doing is, you know, he's selling to his audience and that's people, I guess, interested in AI or developer tools or just developers themselves, right? Um, and I don't know, you see a lot of like, I guess, samey stuff and I don't use really any product at all. I don't pay for anything at the moment, um, but it's interesting to see if any of these do. So I want to go to the leaderboard. Let's have a look here. And so we can see that revenue is actually, yeah, we would need to get ship fast to join the leaderboard and perhaps you'd see the other figures. I'm not so sure. Um, but yeah, I do recognize a couple of people that I just follow on X uh, personally, but yeah, I'm not sure that's using the same logo. No, that's not related by someone else, but yeah, I'm not sure, you know, how this is all validated. And I think there are also some concerns about the data on this page, um, but that's just neither here nor there. I don't want to go into it too much, but yeah. So I guess in terms of ship fast, it's not something I personally would use. Um, let me know in the comments if you do have this or, or you would get to it um, or you would, yeah, you would consider buying it. Um, I do just know, I guess from just a little Google um, and sort of searching around on GitHub, you can find repositories that might have the code. Just this one here does look like it has, um, I guess, yeah, he got the code and then it's a public repo. Um, this is someone's personal accounts and this is probably, I guess this is last year, so it doesn't include any updates. Um, it looks like there's, you know, been some pull requests about 10 months ago, so it's probably super outdated, but it does have quite a lot of components um, that I could see here. And maybe you might want to get that for free rather than paying $170. Um, so I'll just, not going to show or put the link, but you can probably find it quite quickly. This just took me two minutes to do. And I believe some people now today and sort of yeah, recently last couple of days or weeks have been able to get access to the, the like the new um, ship fast templates, um, just kind of hacking their way through, which again, there's lots of security vulnerabilities, it seems. And it, it's not great um, when I guess indie hackers or, or these makers don't really care about security. Um, you know, it's a big thing in the industry and it's not something you really learn as well when you're um, kind of learning to code. There's, I guess, a little bit here and there on Free Code Camp and some, some other courses, but you know, there's not many YouTube um, or YouTubers that will, will discuss security um, and vulnerabilities when you're building projects, which you might follow. So hopefully that's something that I'm gonna be, be looking at as well in the future. I know there's a lot of stuff that you could do with OWASP, um, which is, if you've not heard of it, check it out. It's great kind of principles. You can get kind of ones for TypeScript and React, for, for example, if you're using um, those languages or frameworks. Um, or you can get it for whichever language you're using, like kind of translated, but OWASP is great. Um, so there's just a couple more that I wanted to have a look at. So if you also 
didn't want to pay for a, let's say, a starter kit. I know on here there's WebDev Cody, who's another YouTuber. He's got a great channel. Um, and he says he's built the perfect SaaS starter kit. It's a Next.js, so also Next. And it gets everything from authentication to analytics, which I don't think Mark's one has analytics. Um, but I could be wrong, but no, it doesn't seem to. Um, so yeah, and this one has, it's just completely free. So you can just go through to the GitHub repo, you can fork it and you can see it's been starred a thousand times and forked, at least publicly, um, 256, I believe so. And you can see two hours ago, it's merge requests. Um, so it's been actively worked on and yeah, I, he does also sell, looks like a video walkthrough. Otherwise you just get the code, um, but it seems pretty good. You can get $25, so it's 50% off. Um, otherwise I suppose it'd be 50, but yeah, it includes a lot of stuff here. So we've got Postgres, we've got uh, resend, um, post hog for the analytics, you've got maintenance mode, um, and, and this big one as well, DDoS protection, um, and some other things as well, which are quite nice. Um, there's a lot there and I do like this line. I don't want to sell you code. I want to teach you how to build, launch and iterate on your product, which I really like is that, you know, he's not trying to make any money from the actual code itself you know it's all open source it's great i believe he kind of live streamed as he was building this um, with his audience but you can get the video walkthroughs if you want to i guess either support or or just need that help but i'd say as a like if you're an aspiring or junior developer you should be able to just use this and just read through the code it would probably be way more worth your time uh, monetarily rather than paying the 25 pounds or, or dollars to get this um read through just have a look like pull the code down to your local machine and just have a look around. Let's see what components um, are in there. How's it working? How does everything kind of fit together? Um, one thing that I've just noticed straight away is it was all TSX is great. Um, I like that. You will be writing or writing TypeScript if you're, um, you know, in a in a profession um, generally these days. If you're building for the web, it's most likely TypeScript that you're writing for like the front end um, interfaces. So. Yeah, that's really nice. Uh, as I said, recommend this SaaS starter kit if you're looking to build a SaaS product. I did find also another one, which is another SaaS starter. Um, this one is not free. It's actually probably the most expensive one I've seen um, uh, of this, of, of Maker Kit. But it does, and I've actually heard it is quite good. And it looks quite good as well. So let me just have a look here. Um, no, there's all the components. But yeah, if I scroll down, you can kind of see something or a dashboard that someone has built with it. It looks like um, it's Next.js and Sports Remix as well. So um, that's pretty awesome. And there's yeah a lot of features here as well. So end-to-end -end testing with Playwright. Um, again, something that you don't really see on the other kits um, and it's often overlooked, perhaps testing. But, you know, if you're writing production ready code and it's just a good skill to have really is to do integration and end-to-end -end testing rather than just unit tests um, and I try to do that for all my little projects no matter what it is you're not slowing yourself down you're still learning at the end of the day um, but yeah this looks really nice and as I said I've heard some good things about it I don't have any like I don't know if they've got any but there's a demo here we can have a look at that um, so let's see and um, we've got a few different options so we've got the legacy v1 next and remix it's got next on Firebase, and you can see where it's deployed as well, Railway, Cloudflare, Vercel, etc. Um, so that's pretty cool. And that's the Turbo version two for next and then Remix separately. Um, so yeah, you could potentially build a couple of different apps with this and looks quite nice in terms of all of the features. And then the fourth one here is another wrapper. I think that's what I mentioned about kind of AI and you can build your AI startup in hours. Um, and we've got here, also not we, but here's 10 customizable demo apps. Um, I did have a look through these as well and they look pretty awesome. So if I just scroll down here, you can see Superbase shouted them out recently, but this is very similar. So we've got Next.js, you know, Tailwind, Essential Services, which I guess all of them have now, but this one that is slightly different um, from some of the others is the AI integrations. And we've got state-of-the-art models, so OpenAI, Anthropic, uh, Replicate, Eleven Labs, Grok, etc. And they all kind of do different things, right? So you've got text generation, speech processing, image generation. Um, and yeah, if I go down to the demo apps here, we can just see that 
yeah, there's a bunch of different examples. Um, and these would be really cool if you're looking to learn AI and building it into like front ends with Next. Um, I would definitely give these a shout and maybe just learn what's the difference between Llama 3 and Claude 3 uh, using GPT directly, you know, AI um, API keys rather than, you know, go through the, the interface, um, just interfacing with it all as well with chat GPT 0 at uh, 4.0. Um, and yeah, there's some testimonials here. I, again, not too sure. Um, I, I haven't actually used this or bought it, but you could see that again, this one is paid. And actually the enterprise is almost four, four, nine dollars. Um, the premium is 200 and the core is 169, same as Mark Blue Shipfast, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, that's right. It might have just taken the, the same pricing structure and then just add on enterprise, which I'm surprised if anyone would actually go for that. Um, but again, we've kind of got that same, you know, um, sales tactics and pushing there. That's there's nine license licenses left. I'm not sure about that exactly. Um, but yeah, we can, we can have a look at it and this actually might be the one that if I do buy any of them, I might, might, might personally buy, um, just cause yeah, I, I do know this guy from, um, Twitter here and I think I've seen a few different apps now. Um, sorry, that have been built with this and it looks quite interesting. Um, and I think with the application of AI as well, it would be a good sort of starting point. Um, it's not necessarily for everyone. I'm pretty sure you could build this um, yourself, you know, for some of these um, demos. But as I said, with Superbase, I think that's how I saw it actually um, really kick off was that, yeah, they said um, it's literally save weeks of coding. And I suppose it does do that where, you know, all of these AIs are wrapped um, around all of the standard products that you would think, right? Analytics, um, Next.js, like uh, I guess Superbase and Lemon Squeezy Payments and Tailwind. Um, it might be worth it actually to have a look at. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll leave links for all of these below um, in the comments if any of them are of interest and let me know if you've used any with good effect or what perhaps you're working on. Um, yeah, kind of interested to see where I can go with this and start to look at some more AI applications, as I said. Um, but yeah, it would be interesting to see if anyone can able to build anything. Um, and I might even consider doing like a little hackathon or something or something over a weekend and just see what I can build. Um, I think that would be quite fun. So yeah, let me know if you've got any questions. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.